By combining the various micro-elements of film and media, I was able to keep my trailer consistent with the genre and generate meaning. The camera work was all handheld and stayed at eye level of the characters to make the audience relate more with the conflicts and on-screen events. By using shaky handheld camera work, I was able to make the trailer look more realistic as opposed to using a static camera to film, which would make the events look staged. The editing also contributes to the genre, with the various scenes edited in Apple iMovie to have a grey tint to them, make, making the look of the trailer darker and more depressing, a technique used by other soaps such as these denders. By using this editing technique, I was able to make the trailer look gritty and realistic, combining this with the handheld camera work to create a realistic and gritty looking trailer, staying with the conventions of existing products. The music used in the trailer is in minor key, so it can notice a sound of downbeat atmosphere and helps create the tense atmosphere I tried to achieve. The tenseness in the trailer is generated by opening with a tracking shot. A drawn out shot is intercut with title cards. The length of the shot combined with the building crescendo of the music all help to make this atmosphere. By using these micro elements to create meaning within the trailer, I was also able to use these elements to reinforce audience expectations and tell the audience more about the characters without the use of dialogue or title cards. For example, take the drug dealer storyline. The character is seated in an office with minimal light on his face and wearing a suit jacket. Just by including these three aspects, I was able to tell the audience that he's a villain by having him sat in the shadows and that he has a serious business-like ethic. The setting of the trailer also shows the characters as middle class slash working class with the small village and phone box I filmed in, again reinforcing audience expectations about the style of the show. The title cards also help the audience, the audience to identify the emotions and themes of the soap. The heartbreak and debt title cards signify the downbeat nature of the soap I was making a trailer for and tells the view about the attitude of the show. The editing of the trailer starts off at a slow speed and uh, speeds up, as did the shot lengths. By cutting this way and editing the trailer to match the length of the shot, I was able to create tension and unrest among the storylines and portray the characters as fractured and, un and uneasy. The speed of the editing and the style in which it is edited mirrored the trailer for Dallas 2012, in which the editing cuts sharply between several storylines extremely quickly to create tension. The show audience is shot mostly from the audience's point of view, and this allows the audience to create relationships with the characters and view the events as a fourth wall, creating a direct link, direct link from the audience to the soap. As it's a parody, I stuck to conventions and didn't stray from using a... Uh, uh, the representations of genre and age are used by uh, the dress, dress code and costume. The characters are dressed in casual costumes, except for the uh, drug dealer who we wanted to signify as slightly older and more mature.